Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. This is another episode from a Kiwi's Tinker Crate. We got my buddy Banjo here again. And uh, we've got another box in today. Let's see what we've got going on right here. And here we go. Standard size for the boxes from Tinker Crate. And as you can see right here, and I'm not sure how well you can read it, but it does say Bottle Rocket. Um, now, we read, read on the front there a little bit about what it is. It does say something about uh, uh, using uh, some chemical reactions to, to uh, do this. So this may be something that, uh, never know, you may need some eye protection or something like that. So keep things like that in mind. Always be safe and everything when we're doing stuff like this. Let's go ahead and get into it and uh, find out what's in this box and, uh, you know, get to building. All right, and there we go. Uh, now we got a handful of different things here. Uh, we'll just sit here and kind of go through stuff. Uh, we've got the little bottle right here. Obviously, it did say bottle rocket, and they did mean an actual bottle. This is actually a pretty nice bottle. Uh, it looks to be about eight inches long, so uh, be something that uh, I think would fly pretty well. Pretty, pretty nice looking. So there we go. We've got a handful of balloons here. So uh, maybe you're going to be blowing up some balloons and using that for uh, propulsion on something. Not sure. We'll check that out here as we go. Uh, we've got some of those, of course, laminated laser cut wood pieces. They look like they're going to be fins. So that, that'll be my guess. Uh, what do you think? Think they'll be fins? Yeah, because it has this cut out and it's just as big as the bottle. Oh, look at that. Well, yeah, turn around. Look at this. Oh, and it fits and it right fits in there. In there yeah. yeah, so it fits right in there. So, okay, I think we got that. I think um, I think we're pretty accurate on that one. Um, what are these? Stickers? Are they, is that what they are? Stickers? So. Okay, maybe. Looks like stickers. Maybe Maybe these are for decoration on there. Make it look like it's uh, all mechanical and everything. Because they kind of look like nuts. Like nuts and bolts kind of thing. So, uh, now we've got some... Uh, some other bits and bobs here, as I'll call them. There's a, a little scoop, a little uh, popsicle type stick, maybe to use for stirring. Um, there's a little, looks like a rubber cork in there, some foam pieces, uh, a couple round ones and a couple orange ones there. So I'm sure maybe some of that's gonna be what's used to hold stuff onto the bottle. So there's that. And then, now, I'm not sure how well you can see all this. Probably looks like just a piece of clear plastic. But uh, these are actually cutouts, and they look like fins. So I'm going to guess that's maybe what they are. One of them looks like it might actually roll up into like a cone shape. So we'll find out what that is once we get going and building. And then we've got the couple pieces of uh, chemicals. Now again, uh, make sure to do these with an adult. Uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, you stay safe and everything. Uh, or at least an older brother, a sister, um, cousin, friend, whatever. Uh, but we've got one is baking soda and one is citric acid. Uh, now, if you guys have ever played with these, you know that they can create a, uh, a little bit of a reaction when you mix different things with them. Oh, you, yeah, you've done it before. I, I think I've seen some of the stuff you've done before. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the, the Tinker Zine here. And, and here you go. You've got a bottle with a balloon blowing up. So that might be what some of those uh, chemicals will be doing uh, there. And, of course, you know, as you flip through it, it's got all the different information uh, of what is covered in this kind of little experiment here. You've got your little extra things there, which is what the balloons look like there for. So you've got your main experiment with the bottle, and you've got your experiments with the balloons now here you go you've got a picture right there and it says bottle rocket and you've got a cone there you've got the little fins there and then the end of the bottle right there so I'm guessing that's probably going to be what it looks like uh, even better pictures there and there so and then of course we've got our standard instruction set so why don't we go ahead and get into it we're not going to sit there and explain it all out because you're going to see us put it together so and just so you know since this is a bottle rocket obviously it's not going to be any fun to sit there and stare at it so make sure you watch towards the end because we'll have this thing out flying around All right, guys. Well, it looks like we've got it built. They even have uh, the little plastic piece here is built as a funnel so that you can uh, pour your stuff inside. Now, um, 
we've got this stuff down here shows you uh, the things that you do to get it ready to launch it so uh, we're gonna need the uh, of course the scoop and a couple other things as well as I believe we need yeah it looks like it looks like you just use water with this so um, that's the only that's the only other thing that you're using um, those of you who know about baking soda and vinegar, uh, they're not using that because of the citric acid. I believe the mix between the citric acid and the baking soda with the water is what really causes the, uh, the reaction you need to launch this. So we're actually going to cut away. We'll go to uh, outside and uh, have, uh, have this launching. We'll show you, you know filling it up and trying to launch it a few times and, and see what it does from there. Okay everybody, you can see here Banjo's poised and ready to go. Now we got our mixture together, the dry mixture goes as two parts of each one of those packets and then you fill the bottle up there with a quarter full of water. Uh, as soon as he dumps that in there he's going to have to knock that funnel off <laughs> and uh, then he's going to have to put the, and that turned out to be a launcher down there instead of the fins because we had those plastic fins right there on the side of the bottle. So go ahead and dump it in there, bud, and let's get going. And there it went. And this is round number two, guys. Plug it on there. Shake. And this is what happens if it doesn't quite release. Watch out, you're gonna get sprayed. And, well, there it went. So, it went a little bit further. It's not gonna hurt you, it's just, just a little bit of water mixed with the other stuff. It's nothing real serious. So, anyhow, there we go. Uh, with the bottle rocket, we will head, head on back and uh, wrap this up, guys. All right, guys, well, you got a chance to see this in action. You know, it uh, it did what it did. <laughs> so, you know, you guys want to try it for yourself, go ahead and check out uh, the uh, Kiwi Crate. And uh, that's going to be in a link down in the description below. Don't forget to check out, of course, our social media content that's also going to be down there. And uh, on your way down there, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Of course, lets us know that you like this stuff and want to see more of it. Also, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you've got it set up with that little bell icon, it'll let you know when we have new videos out. Uh, as well as there'll be a little subscribe button floating around. It should be about right there somewhere. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's our little World of Me logo. Hit that and you can subscribe from there as well. All right, guys. Well, my name is Cougar. This is my buddy Banjo. This has been another episode from A Kiwi's Tinker Crate on World of Me. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.